and police say at least 10 people have died and 33 injured after suspected militants fired on a bus carrying Hindu pilgrims in the Indian Federal Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. They added that the driver lost control, causing the bus to plunge into a gorge in Risi district of Jammu. While rescue operations have conducted, have been conducted, a search operation by the Indian Army and police is underway to track down the attackers. Officials say Prime Minister Narendra Modi had taken stock of the situation and asked for the best medical care to be provided to the injured. Well, the Super Eagles is now battling for a place in the forthcoming World, uh, World Cup. Uh, the Super Eagles is expected to play Benin Republic later today. We have updates on that match in this report. Triggered by the unlucky outing against South Africa last Friday, Nigeria's Super Eagles touched down in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, venue of their next World Cup qualifier against the Squirrels of Benin Republic. A number of Nigerian fans were anxiously waiting to welcome their football stars. Not carried away by the ecstatic ambience on arrival, the players reported to training soon after. It will be the only session for the boys here in Abidjan before the crucial match on Monday evening. Midfielder Fisayo Deli Bashiru, who was injured in the previous game, is back to fitness and will expand Coach Finidi's options for selection. This is World Cup qualifiers. Um, the mentality um, must be different. So uh, we will approach the game uh, with every seriousness and uh, see how we can win. They want to win as well. So tomorrow is the D day. Um, yeah, we'll just come out and play and uh, do our best to make sure we win it. Benin Republic is coached by former Super Eagles handler Gennot Raw, but the players are not bothered about the German coach's knowledge of the Nigerian team. Gennot Raw, yeah, he coached us for five years, yeah, but during those years, players are coming, players are going. Uh, facing him is actually a motivation because we know he's a good coach and uh, we know he's going to plan he wants to win and we approaching that game is like we, we have to show him that he actually missed something uh, in the team so i think that's what we have to do now the super eagles sit in an uncomfortable position in group c of the qualifiers and the win is desperately needed to set nigeria's path on the road to the 2026 fifa world cup and that's the world now. For more updates on the stories we're monitoring around the world, you can visit our website. It's tvsnews.tv. You can also follow us on our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and X at tvsnewsng. On YouTube, we're live at tvsnews.night area. Thanks for watching, everyone. I am Nifemi Okuntui.